okay, now that we've used basically a lot of takedowns that happen in the middle of the ring, the middle of the cage, we're gonna now go to some of the more important things that happen on the, like the cage itself, the ring itself. And the first important thing about that is, is tying up with your opponent. And this is very important because if, without the proper tie, you may not, you know, you're gonna get either punched or you're not gonna be able to control your opponent to take them where you wanna take them and do what you wanna do. So what I like to do is, when I, when I come in, like say we're, we're boxing, he's got me cornered or I got him cornered or whatever. What I'm teaching the guys is, what I teach here is to try to get the underhook. The first thing you wanna do, because guys can be up, he's punching up right here. We're getting here, we're locked. First, if, whenever, remember one thing, we're this close to somebody, we can, get, we can go on this way. That's okay, if we're going this way, we can get an underhook. That's fine. But if a guy's hands, if they're still up like this, and you know he can come around, come down like, like this, he can still punch me. So it's important that we come over, we come over this way for the clinch. And that basically is very controllable because your opponent's not gonna know that. Guys, most guys who have never wrestled or have wrestled a little, and some guys who've wrestled a lot still don't understand that one point of fact because they're not used to somebody coming in when they're trying to tie up somebody punching. So if he's in, when I'm in here, when I'm coming in, what I teach is we got to come over these. We come over them, okay? Not under, not, you know, just sticking in here. I come over here. We got to bring the hands down. And, and it seems, and that seems like a, a very simple thing, or it may seem even elementary, but it's important, and you'd be surprised how many people will just come in trying to attack, and they're getting hit. So if we come in, the, the proper way to control is coming in here, aggressively. And when I come right here, from right here, if we're boxing like this, we're coming in here. When I got, I'm controlling right here, the thing I want to do now is go for the underhook. And all that simply is, is just going right to here. Okay? And those are the underhook I'm, I'm grabbing right here. I'm not in the middle of the back and all around down in here. I'm not, I'm not doing this. This is, this is no good. Because right here, all he's going to do, he's got, he's going to run, he's just going to hip out right here. And I, and I got nothing. But then we're, we're, we got, we're playing this game. Okay? So what I want to do is I'm going to do it right here. I'll get right here, and he hips out, hip out. He keeps up. Doesn't matter. I still have it. I still have it. He's, he's in tight like this, and he hits out. I don't care. He's not going anywhere. I still have it. But I'm right here. He hips out. Okay. Now you know I don't have anything. He's probably getting better position than I am. So I'm right here. So if I got this right here, the next thing I would do, I don't want to get punched over on this side. So I take my form. I'm like this, and I go here. Okay. And all I'm doing is just driving from there. If he's if this is down, he's basically if this he's, he's got his plan is gonna be to hit me. He's, his plan is to come right here and pound me in the face. Right here. So when I'm keep that pattern, I'm going here. And I'm keeping my I'm keeping my to keep tight. I'm keep I might put my head, I might keep my head to his chest. But the thing I want to do, the important thing I want to do here is I gotta get down to the wrist. And I'm I'm, doing some, I'm not gonna do this, I'm not gonna loop to the wrist. I go from here and I go to here. Okay, once I have wrist control, now I've got him control. Or more importantly, with the tie, it's to keep from getting punched. I mean, that's all the tie up is. In wrestling, you tie up a setup for uh, for double legs, for single legs, for you know fireman's carries and things of that nature. And with this, when I'm in here, all I'm trying to do is clinch and not get punched. So if I'm right here. I mean, I will control this here. And, I, and also worry about things like getting knee with this. Like a lot of guys are getting here. I see a lot of guys that are hanging hand over like this. This isn't good, so you get knee. All I want to do again, like before, I'm still lifting and pushing with my back straight and bending my knees. I'm not doing this, okay? So I'm right here. And I'm so I'm going to step it in, using my, my leg and, and, uh, and the control right here to get it. If I'm one, if I'm taking to the case, this is, where I'm, this is the way I'm going to do it. I got the control here, I'm locking right here, it's a step in right here. All I'm doing is step in between his legs. If I step in between his legs, it makes it harder for him to really maneuver because I, he's right here, I'm standing him up. And that's what's happening right here. I'm right here, I'm driving like this, driving. I got control here, I got control here. He's, it's hard for him to hit me. He can't hit me with this arm back here either. Because I mean, if, if he did, it's not much, there's not going to be any power there. Okay? So what I'm doing is I got this right here, I'm just taking him to the cage just like this. That's all I'm doing. Power and drive, keeping my head up. I'm not doing this. Just like before, keep my head up. And I, one thing about keeping your head up, the important thing about that is it's stronger when it's up because you, you're almost like bullying your neck. I'm right here. 
If I want to slide that, you see, and make it close on this. If I do that, if I want to get closer in here to really get some good power in here, to really push some good, all I'm doing is I'm looking up right here and I'm going to lower my, I'll change levels using my legs and not like, not pushing like this. I'm right here. I'm just push right here to get the control. Okay? When I got the control, this is where I got them against the cage. Okay, from the tie, the tie is a good place to be because right here I have so much worry about him punching me. And I can do the same, I can still execute the same takedowns as we did before. I can do a lot of single legs from here, and I can do some different variations of the double leg from here. Okay? One from right here, the thing I want to do, if I'm, if I'm if what, what I'll do to get him to step in front, and like again, when certain positions, we don't stand for a long time. If I'm right in here, and I'm controlling, let's say I step in right here, and I'm, I'm driving real good. And one thing about this is this will outforce him to put himself in a bad position. Because if I'm right here and he has no power to push right here, what he's going to do a lot of times, they try to step around. And when he does step around, I don't want to stay here long because he can hip toss him. So the minute he steps around, that means basically I'm pushing, I'm working, and he all of a sudden says, hey, here's a gift. And that's what I want him to do. I'm in here controlling. And right this, he's in back. He sees that he's going to the cage. He doesn't want to be against the cage. He knows there. I'm, all I'm basically going to do is pin him against the cage and punch him. A lot of times what your opponent will do is move step around. When he steps around, the minute he steps around, He's giving me the gift. Now what I'm going to do is just change levels. All I do is just bend. I'm not going to bend over. All I do is bend my knees and take his knee. Right here. Look, I go right here. Not, notice how I'm not, I, I go a little bit beyond. Because he's going, when, I'm, when I'm down here, trust me, this leg is going back. Okay? So what I want to do is I want to create kind of a, uh, a little bit of a catcher here. So when I go here, he's pulling back. Everything happens in kind of in conjunction. I got the leg. And from right here, I go back to where we were originally. I step back around to the pinch. And I got it right here. Okay? And I'm holding my wrist. Notice I'm, using, I'm holding my own wrist. I'm not gripping like this. These grips right here are too hard. This, this is a good place to be for me because I get this too much, too much play in here. With this, I can make it as tight as I want. With this, I can't. This makes it a lot harder. I want to be right here. I'm not doing this in here either. Now, I'm basically restricting a lot of my own uh, movement and motions to do things. So, I'm going to be here, grab my own wrist, and pull it in tightly. Okay? We'll go back to that again. Okay, said so we're pushing in here, we want the single leg, and he's just basically letting us push him around. Okay, then I create that situation myself by stepping outside this leg. Watch, if we start over here, I'm driving, driving, driving my leg in here, all I want to do myself, I don't want to create the situation. Suppose he's trying to do it, trying to get your leg in, he's trying to get his leg in, I just, just I don't want him to do it, because I know if he's trying to, if you have an opponent, this is another thing about understanding control, if you have an opponent, and you're pushing right here. He knows he's trying to get his leg around in here. He's trying to get it in there. He's trying to go right here. He's trying to do something. Basically, he wants to hip toss me from here. And all the hip toss from here is he's just basically going to go under here, right here, and just lift this leg up. Like this. This is what he's trying to do to me. I don't want that to happen. So to keep that from happening, what I'm going to do is I want to control the situation. If he's trying to come right here, and he's trying to step in, I'll just move my knee up like this. Try to step, he's trying to step around. Do this. I just move this leg. And then when I want it, Boom, I just drop down and take it when I want it, when I need it. Saying he's the kind of guy, I know this guy is a good uh, jiu-jitsu guy, and he, but he doesn't want me to take him down. But he knows that I'm eventually going to take him down. Suppose I don't want to take him down in the middle of the ring. That might be the reason for me not wanting him to come in to right here right away. So if he's doing it in the middle of the ring, and I'm trying to get him, trying to get him to the cage, I'm going to drive right here. He's trying to step around. I'm going to block. I'm going to block. So I get more I want. Now, I'm more confident against the cage. So right here, now I simply just change levels by my legs. I bring my legs and my hands at the same time. I go here. Head up. Not like this. But you like this, he's going to need But he's going to guillotine. So right here, all I'm going to change levels and come back up. And like I said before, I don't stay here all day. The minute I get right here, I go for the takedown. Okay? All right, so right here, controlling. I'm driving. If I want to creep, step right here. Right here, against levels, grab. Okay? From right here, just simply do the take. I can run the pipe from here. Even if he's that close to the cage, I can still go in here. Right here. And I got it. Avoiding the guard. Trying to get back to the side now. Okay, as you see, we're doing the same moves from the clinch that we're doing from out. Some guys, just like you may be a boxer, you may not be that confident taking a guy down from out here, trying to get a single leg, trying to get a double leg, trying to shoot. 
you may feel more comfortable from the clinch. And it's a little bit easier. It's a little bit easier to learn. The timing from here is a little bit different. You have to do it or have done it a million times from here to more or less get a hang of what's going on. So from right here, like I said, I'm driving. And like I said, you may not want to get the single leg out here. You might be driving him real good. You're doing some good pushing. He's going backwards. You get him to where you want him against the cage or if you're in the, on the, in the, in the ring, in the corner, in the ropes, however you want him. So you can punch him and kick and take him down and do what you want to do to him. So it's very important that you know that basically if he, if he steps around, if he does it on his own, you better be quick like a fox and get down to that knee. Because right here you're in trouble. So from right here, I go I'm right down as quick as I can. I'm going to take it. But if I don't want him to do that, I'm going to go, he's trying to step around. I can, I, can keep him out, I can keep him out with this. With this. Try to step around again. I move this leg and I just keep it like this. Locking it. And that's how I keep him from coming around. But when I get him where I want him, then I, I, may, I might bait him to do anything. I might come back here, when he's right here, he goes a step, I let him. And I take it, I pick it up. I got the leg. From right here, I go, go to the takedowns like we did before. Okay? And it's very important, remember also, another detail, whenever you got this right here, you're right here. 